Mazda's done something really incredible. They've reinvented the automobile, and they've done it by re-examining every little part. Now they call it Sky Active, and it's really just a philosophy on how to build an automobile. And I've come up with a philosophy of my own to teach you about it. So I've gone around the shop here and gathered up a bunch of old parts, and I'm going to use these to demonstrate three key points of Mazda Sky Active. Mazda had three goals during this process. Higher efficiency, lower friction, and lower weight. To illustrate the weight reduction of this Mazda, I can think of no better way than to use a cast iron transmission out of a 1948 Packard. Now Mazda was able to reduce the weight of this automobile by approximately 15% over the previous model, but they didn't take it all from one area of the car. They didn't take it all from the transmission or the engine or the doors or the trunk. They took a little from here, a little from there, you know, here a pound, there a pound, everywhere a pound, pound, you know how it goes. Old McMazda had a Sky Active E-I-E-I-O. Now this transmission is obviously a lot older than the one that's in the Mazda, but it's still a standard shift transmission. And as such, it still shares a lot of the similar components to the Mazda transmission. And this is how they've reduced the weight. They've shortened the main shaft and removed the reverse gear shaft from the transmission. And that's what they've done throughout the automobile to reduce the overall weight. Now, I've got these steel plates here to represent the chassis parts. Now, this long one here would represent a chassis rail. And if it's bent, it's gonna be weaker than if it's straight because it's always going to want to bend more and more and will eventually fail. So you try and keep those straight. And these two small ones represent the welded sections of the chassis. If you're going to weld a joint, you need to have the parts lined up perfectly. But we all know we don't live in a perfect world. So a lot of times, things get misaligned and they're welded crooked, they're welded tilted, they're welded with a gap in the joint. If you make them perfect, and weld them together correctly, you end up with a much stronger chassis. And if you have a stronger chassis, you can make that chassis out of lighter materials and less material. Here's the important part. Remember I told you that Mazda reinvented the automobile down to every little part? Well, that includes the pistons. Now the pistons in this engine are coated to reduce friction, but they didn't put a flat crown piston in the motor. Instead, they put a piston with a crater in the center. The crater's there to introduce flame propagation in a controlled environment so you don't get an octane knock. Then they raise the compression ratio by building a dome around it. And that increases the efficiency of the motor. And the compression ratio gets bumped up to a whopping 13 to 1. And let's put that in perspective. That's as much or more than most of the muscle cars in the late 60s and early 70s.